And now to Capitol Hill, where President Trump's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, testified publicly before Congress. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has the latest from this contentious hearing. President Trump's former longtime fixer and personal attorney, Michael Cohen, says he protected the president for a decade. What was the breaking point at which you decided to start telling the truth? Watching the daily destruction of our civility to one another. Cohen facing three years in prison after pleading guilty to breaking campaign finance laws and other crimes. He says at the direction of President Trump. Because I know what Mr. Trump is. He is a racist. He is a con man, and he is a cheat. Today, Democrats are locked in on Cohen's campaign finance violations, President Trump's role, and the timing of the hush money payments he arranged for two women who say they had an affair with Trump. Affairs Trump has denied. Can anyone corroborate what you have shared with us? Absolutely. Republicans, however, more focused on reminding the public that Cohen is a convicted felon. The president's tax returns also a topic. Do you have any idea what we can learn in his tax returns? I've seen them. I just have never gone through them. Cohen also alleging as a candidate, Trump was aware that Roger Stone was talking with Julian Assange about WikiLeaks revealing hacked emails from the DNC. Mr. Trump knew from Roger Stone in advance about the WikiLeaks drop of emails. Stone denies that conversation. At the end of the hearing, an emotional moment. Democratic representative and chairman of the House Oversight Committee, Elijah Cummings, sympathized with Cohen's situation and the struggle of his family. And hopefully, this portion of your destiny will lead to a better, a better, a better Michael Cohen. Cohen even suggesting he's aware of an illegal act regarding President Trump that federal prosecutors in New York are investigating. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Capitol Hill.